What's going on, everybody? We are here beyond the fairway presented by Genesis. I am Will Lowry, and I'm with my co-host, my co-homie, the guy's been on the road for the last two to three weeks, Dougie, wow. fresh Dougie Smith. Uh, we got a great guest, first and foremost, got a great guest coming in talking about uh, Dwight Freeney in uh, one of our interviews that we had at uh, American Century. So, you know, we're going to get to that a little later. But, Doug, What's you up, have man? been, I mean, have you recovered from the speedy greens over <laughs> <laughs> at Boston Straw playing at the APGA event. Yeah, so many people talk smack. They talk about, you know, how we play, you know, weak courses and whatnot at APGA. Let me hear, let me tell you right now, Boston Straw gave everybody all they wanted. It gave me way more than I was able to to take. Um, so, so Doug, fastest Doug, greens I've ever played on my life. Doug, Doug, you played all over the world, bro. And you yeah. can tell me the fastest greens you ever played. So I talked to the super after the round, and I was like, "Yo, man, talk to me. Tell me real. Tell me what's happening. Tell me, give me the real." And dude was like, "Yeah, we had him at thirteen five for y'all Saturday. Saturday five. Pin, Saturday pins at the PGA Championship at sixteen. I was like, "Come on, man. That's not even, bro. This course was so hard. They had pin, they had the pins cut two, three paces off edges. It was it was nuts. It was it was the hardest test of golf. Um, I I liken it to in my personal experience playing at U.S. Mid Am." Uh, in 2016, I played at Stonewall in Philly, and that was the highest score ever in USGA history to make it into the match play. Okay. So this so course now, was now, was no joke. Bro. So you're talking about highest score ever to wake, make it into the USGA match play. What was the was the winning score over par? Yes, three over par. Andrew Walker absolutely balled out. Man, I'm tell you what, I didn't come in last. Okay. I, so I'm where not, where are you on the reverse leaderboard, Doug? I was I was I was like fourth or fifth reverse leaderboard fourth okay but look let's let's okay. let's put things in perspective okay I, give me a little you, credit give me a little credit play. you don't play i got a saturday phone call i just had COVID. I had COVID monday got cleared on friday got a saturday call got on a flight sunday played monday pro am tuesday wednesday flew did pj tour live bmw thursday friday saturday sunday and today for the people that's listening this is sunday so i just got off air so the last eight days nine days have been absolutely nuts and I only hit balls once going into that championship, so I, I still, I, I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. You should be proud of yourself. I still I can tell that's you that's kind of you to say. No, that's real I, kind I, of you to say. I, I can tell you just uh, got off air because you still got the, uh, the broadcast. I, I voice. still have the voice on. Yes, I yes, still you do. Have it. It's, feature it's, ho- feature holes with Doug Smith, bro, and Jeff Eisenberg. <laughs> Shout out Jeff Eisenberg, man. Look, let me tell you something. It's so hard to put the voice down, especially when you like get in the me. You know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but Will Will's got the Will voice on air is the same as it is now. So so we, what we have here is uh, uh, a, a shot. 220, so, 225 so out. We we, uh, we, uh, we got and this ball's been hit. Will uh, I hear that? So all right. So I want to get your take. You all know, right, since you saw firsthand, you know, bird's eye view of you yep. know what just what, what just happened. How do you feel? I mean, how do you feel about Corey Connors? You know, how do you feel about the whole Corey, overall? That, of everybody in you that was playing, you well, picked Corey well, Connors. Yeah, I put Corey Connors you, you pick- because, <laughs> because you, you picked him you picked him every just about every major event this year. He was nah, always your sneaker pick. That was not ever I, okay. Not I'll, every, I'll, I'll he, agree. He, I'll he, agree. He, he, he was but, he was he was in your he was in your sneaker pick. Well it's, a what's lot. interesting about this week though on BMW Will is the fact that um yeah, we had a golf tournament, right? People could get paid to win and, and Patrick Cantley won the championship. That was cool. But it was the storylines and how volatile the the projections were throughout the day for who was going to make it to Atlanta. That was, to me, that was way more interesting of a storyline. You had Adam Scott jump 16 spots, came into the week 45th, and, and then finished on tw- 29th, up, you know, 16. It's just, it was one of those weeks where, you know, I look at a guy like Scott Stallings who shot 13 under, finished second. He came into this week 46th, earned 34 spots. And just watching the players kind of joust and jockey and box back and forth. And big shouts out to, to you, one of your favorite players and one of my favorite players, uh, Sahith Tagala. You know, we didn't think he was going to make it in. He had some late birdies, in, you know, in the final round today. Got in uh, in the 28th spot, I believe. And he's playing as a rookie, as a rookie in his first tour championship. And that that was exciting. Yeah. I mean, going back to Scott Stallings, man, I, I'm really proud of him because after missing the cut last week at FedEx, and but prior to that, you know, I want to say he was top 15 in the previous four events. So yeah. to see to see the fact yeah. that he kind of stuck with it after missing the cut, which I didn't think he was going to bounce back so soon, which is uh, yeah. kudos to him. So Look, he had he had a two shot lead, uh, like five we'll, holes to play. 
So, you know, that's that's crazy to me. Yeah. I love I love Thin Scott Stallings. I feel like he's a he's a real gamer now. Like Yeah, like, he went from, from Big it, Scott to Lil Scott. Fit Scott. Yeah, Fit Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Ella Fitz Scott Gerald. Yeah. Ella Fitz Scott Stalling. <laughs> Fitz Scott, and he looks probably looks good in an ascot, you know? Man, I tell you what, he's a no bull kind of guy, man. That's, yeah, that's, he went out there it. and played some G. How about Kyle Moore Kyle today? Made a double bogey six. Followed mm-hmm. that up with a 10 on a par five. He went double 10. I thought I played bad. Kyle, that's well, on you, homie. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying about Kyle Moore Coward because he will be. At the uh, Curry Cup, you know we are. There's the drop. There's a drop. Got to <laughs> drop. I got to because I, I love I love what, 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 what Steph is doing, bro. He's like uh, we'll be at, we'll be at the Curry Cup over at Hardy Park this week. I'm flying out uh, tonight. Yeah, it's weird to see you at home. I feel like we've been traveling for so long. Now I'm not in the studio. Well, my little studio. It's actually a closet. But now I'm gone, and you at home. This is very. This is a unique position. As Absolutely. I have, I have a dog Absolutely. licking me on my leg right now. So this is this is very awkward. As I'm. As, yeah, it's a little. It's a, a little, little different. Much. It's a little hey, different, man. That's, that's beyond thing. But going back to Colin, he will be uh, hand in hand over hand. at Harding Park. Holding uh, hands. Holding hands. Hold hand. Him and Steph hand holding hands next week. Man, we all holding his hand because we, we know that we're so graceful and, and gracious enough to have uh, Scott out at the Curry Cup in Harding Park. Colin. Uh, said Colin. Scott. Who's Scott? You said Who's Scott? Scott at? You said oh, Scott. Scott Colin. Sorry. No, Scott. I thought Colin was good. Colin's going to be there. We're talking about that. Sorry. Colin or Cal will be at Curry Cup. Uh you know, the tour championship. So oh, yeah. I hope he knows the dates. I hope y'all send him the dates. So, we'll, Oh, he's going to we'll be see. out there. Uh, so, I mean, let's get to it, man. We had a great conversation with uh, Dwight Freeney. And um, let's let the world hear it. All right, Beyond the Fairway welcomes in Mr. Dwight Freeney. Dwight, what's up, man? How you man, living? You know me, man. Just chilling. You know, can't complain. I'm trying to living be like life. you. You're just chilling. That's where I'm trying to be. Absolutely. Ain't nothing wrong with that. No, given the fact that it's your first year at American Century. Yeah. Is it everything you thought it would be? Because you got a lot of friends that play in this thing prior yeah, to you ever right. being here. Absolutely. I mean, right now, I am floored. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't know this exists. This is like a little piece of paradise. <laughs> right. you know, I'm first time in Tahoe, too. First time in Tahoe. So, okay. you know, all you right, see we... it on TV, you see a lake. I'm thinking, yeah, Nevada, yeah, right, right. Right. I don't know nothing about all of that. So we go over the mountain, I see the trees, and then I see that lake open Ooh. up. Like, oh, it hits you. Oh, it's different. This is real nice. It's different. Yeah, it's Hopefully just... I don't hit the ball in the lake. So <laughs> now now, now has has the competitive nature kick in? Like, I want to win this. I want to do something remarkable, winning on my first try. Or are you just um, like, I'm just enjoying the moment? I'm just enjoying the moment. We'll see. You know, that's and that's easy right now. Right now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not messing around. I'm, I'm just having a little practice. It's round. early week, Will. He ain't, you know, I already he ain't... know once the week starts, once it happens on that Friday, I know it's gonna kick in. So it has to I be know. a different. And I, I can't wait to talk to you on Friday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> after the 18th yeah. hole, because I want to know the difference between your name being called during a Super Bowl. Yeah. Versus your name being called on the first tee box at American Century. Well, I would just say this: the fans, just watch out. <laughs> Just watch out. Something's going to happen. <laughs> I just watch out. Now, see, I see you repping the Grove 23. Now, Absolutely. There's, there's some rumors out here that uh, we want to take this time to clear up, all right? I hear you out there about nine times a week playing golf. So I need to understand, how much golf are you actually playing? I got a real problem. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's go. We, let's I, have, I have a real session. problem. It's a good session. problem, depending on who you are. If you're my wife, it's probably not a great problem to have. <laughs> no, yeah, you can't do that. I, I, I'm out there a little bit too much. I'm playing 36 a day, and I'm playing at least five days a week, four to five days a week. Come on, man. Uh, and, 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 not, and not even blinking. Really? Not even not even a blink. If I play 18, I think something's wrong. But so it's different, like Will. 18 is like around. nine holes it, it to these is. guys but nowadays. It, especially yeah. at Grove 23. Yeah, you can play you quick. Know, you, you, know it's, you better play quick. It's, it's the off to the races. Oh, you know? we gone. Yeah. Hit, find your ball. I love, Hit, I, I your love ball. the fact that he has he's PGA. Probably a golf addiction. It's just, no, it's, oh, that's yeah. damn sure. Yeah. That's oh, damn sure. Oh, oh, I'm hooked. No, let's dive into that, though, because, like, you play the league yeah. for a long time. Yeah. You get out of the league, and now you're playing golf 36 holes a day. How does that even happen? How do you get into this game? How does it get into your, your, your system? Well, the, the truth is I've been, I was playing when I was playing in the league. Okay. All right, but I wasn't like you know the, the receivers and the quarterbacks playing during the season. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. You know, I was focused on my craft. Now, now as soon as season. that season was over with, I was down either West Palm Beach somewhere warm mm-hmm. and working on the game. All right, and that's where it started because the thing about golf and why I love the game. Mm-hmm. Okay, here, yeah, let's know why look, you love the game. 
the ball doesn't move. It is, and it don't lie. And, not, and it don't lie. You will lie to yourself. <laughs> it does lie <laughs> on the ground. I, it, it does lie. I'm hundred percent. I, I got to do it. I, no, as much I, as love I do. It. Hey, I love. He has to I be love that it. guy. I, am. I, I, I see that. Guy. I see that right <laughs> now. <laughs> but the truth is, it is nobody else's fault why that ball doesn't go where it needs to go, other than you. And that's why I love the game. So what's it? What, what? No excuses. So what got you in the game? Who who did it? Who who brought you to this? This, this mess. This mess. This well, addiction. I think it started off. Drug? I think it started off watching Tiger. Mm. Tiger Woods okay. on TV as a youngster, watching him, you know, doing what he does. Okay. okay. I was, you know, watching other athletes play it, Michael Jordan, etc. So it was kind of like, you know, an easy transition for me. Yeah. In my mind, like, look, I can't play football forever. I got to transition to something because this competitive fire got to go somewhere, Will. It got to go somewhere. And that is a perfect place for it to go. Now, when you talk about competitive fire, you yeah. just mentioned Michael Jordan. Yeah. Grove 23. Mm. Yeah. I need to know some details, man. Yeah. What kind of games we got out there with MJ? Uh, I mean, because I know. He ain't going to let you I, out if you I say I mean, bro, that, you, you can give us a little insight, you know. Uh, I mean, how much he's spotting you, how much money's on the line. Oh, you know, you know, the good thing for me is I'm, a, I'm his teammate most times. Okay. 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 So I don't got to I don't gotta have to face the wrath of, of what he actually is doing as far as the betting is concerned. But we definitely have some game, games okay. to keep it fun. Absolutely. We keep it light, though. We don't really try to kill each other. But it's relative. All right? we yeah. keep light, it, is, light is yeah. relative. We keep it light. We keep it light keep it fun. We playing 30. Six, so we playing every day. I mean, so. long as money on the uh, long as money on the wood, but, the bet's gonna be good. But I want to go back go. to this Tiger Woods thing because you know when we think back, we've had different guests. Chris Spencer comes to mind. Yeah. Will, you know, a lot of guys saw a brother. Tiger Woods was out there doing his thing, and it was kind of something that guys kind of rallied behind. Yeah. What, was it a was it a like kind of a, a, a awakening when you saw a brother out there handling his business on the golf course? No, absolutely. I mean, for a lot of black folks, we understand is that you know this game has a lot of history and negative history for black That's people. Right. Mm. No question. All right, and we weren't quote unquote allowed to be mm -hmm. on in those country clubs, and we if we were in the game, we were the caddy, and we could only have to carry the bag, That's and it. that was all we could or do. The cook. So. When you saw guys like Tiger go out there and excel and be one of the greatest, if not the greatest, who've ever played the game, it opens that the floodgates. Okay. For people like us saying, okay. you know what? We're accepted. We can do this. Tiger's doing it. And that's what it is. Now, where I came from, where I grew up, we didn't have golf. We didn't have any golf. We couldn't afford it. And that's just what it was. Okay. And so, I, and I'm, I think that's what we need to transition to and, more and, and, in and our community. And I'm going to interrupt you just, uh, just on that little notion. Now, coming from a football player and being exposed to the game as a football player, yeah. where are some of the – how is the ball being dropped in the golf space from your perspective to growing the game amongst diverse communities? Well, I, I, I think, love that question. I think the biggest thing is you got to start young, mm -hmm. all right? Young, but also a lot of the, the urban, you know, communities can't afford to play. And I just went into the pro shop and bought some golf balls. And I, I my, you know, I, I made a pretty good living. And my, I said, hold on. How much is this, this, this golf? I said, hold on. I ain't losing any more balls. <laughs> I, said, I, told, I told my boy, I said, hey, you got to find every ball that I hit. I don't care where it is. Those got balls to be more lot. careful. So, exactly. So understand is that, you know, when you're a youngster and you live in those types of areas, to where as though, you know, you just live in paycheck to paycheck, it is a problem. Yes. You know, how do you get your child, how do you get them some clubs? So I think there needs to be more programs to where as though they give that stuff away, mm. okay, out to the communities and let those kids experience those games and, and do what they need to do, gift it, whatever, so they can learn from a young age mm -hmm. and then go up. So you know what? You know what you're doing right now. Mm. What's that? You just became a golf ambassador. You did. So hey. the responsibility is on yeah. you now because hey. you got platform. I got it. You know this game. Absolutely. You swing it. You're out here with the big guys. Yes, sir. I mean, go ahead and grow that game. Help us grow this game. There's no problem. I okay. love the game. I okay. got no problem giving okay. back to the game. Well, well, say it, Doug, what I do. Doug says it all the time. Golf is uh, culture capital. No, I don't yeah. say that. You say that. You see how you try to put his words? I don't say that. I, I, I say golf's a bridge that can bring us all together. But in that in that Absolutely. in that spirit, though, you know, you're here right now. Yeah. We're we're in Tahoe we're recording this pod right now. But when we look at golf in a global kind of aspect, how have you been able to move in business through the game, or just just move? Period. Well, the thing is. There is no other sport, and this is one of the reasons why mm. I love golf, mm. is where you can kind of converge so many different mm. people that would never ordinarily ever meet, ever, ever meet, fair. and play something together. You can get somebody who's 75 years old from the middle of uh, the Midwest, 
with somebody from, you know, New York City in the middle of, you know, urban, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and get them on a golf course and they can actually have fun and do it together. I'm going to go a little deeper. Like who? Well, it don't matter. I mean, like, who, who, have, yeah, you, for you. who have you met in your, in your respective discipline from playing golf? I've, I've met a whole bunch of guys, but I would say the biggest person that I met through the game mm -hmm. of golf is one of my good friends, Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. for me is, you know, I grew up a, a Jordan fan like most Did? people. Mm -hmm. And for me to meet him mm. and then now be good friends, the only I way that, that happened was through the game Thank of golf. golf. Yeah. And if I never played the game of golf, I would have never met him. I would have never met my other idol is Lawrence Taylor. I, I have a real I, funny I story about Lawrence it. Taylor. <laughs> my first game ever playing a celebrity, <laughs> my, my first celebrity golf event was in yeah. 2003 at a Michael Jordan Invitational. Mm. And I didn't know who I was paired up with. Now, I grew up a diehard Lawrence Taylor fan. I right, cried right. when the man retired. Oh. Right, right. And I was a huge right. Giants fan. So the first time I ever met him was on the first tee. <laughs> and, and back in the day, Michael Invitational was on TV. Yeah. On TV, in the stands, and I'm sitting here, I'm like shaking. I'm like, hey, Mr. Taylor, was, I'm a huge Was that the last time fan. you were starstruck, though? Let me tell you something. <laughs> that was it. Listen, I'm going to tell you, that ball went about 20 feet. All right, 20 feet. And for the rest of the round, and to this day, LT still calls me hacker. Really? And it's okay. <laughs> but, you LT, you so, call so who's the better you. talker, LT or Jordan? Ooh, that's, a, boy, that's the hard that's, 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 They both that's, Carolina boys. They both talk major trash. I'll probably have to say MJ just because I see him every mm. so often on the course. Right. We play together, so I know exactly yeah. what's going on. I, I've been on the that. backside of some LT yeah. talking yeah. on the golf course. Yeah. Quick, yeah. quick question about uh, MJ. Has, is his finger still just straight all the time? It is crooked as crooked as crooked can be. Hey, hey, hey Dougie, Dougie, he'd just be like, he'd be like, hey, that, but uh, but you know what? That that finger is actually what happened. You know, it was a story. He actually cut that in, like in Bahamas. Again, he had oh, an accident. Oh, really? He had an accident where it, it doesn't bend. Oh, okay. So I think the last okay. few years in his career, he had to play with a straight finger. Look, look, look. I'm intrigued though that you do you get to spend so much time with like like Michael Jordan because he's he, he and like Tiger kind of the same they kind of duck off and they kind of stay to their own like yeah. when it comes to kind of your maturation as a man I know y'all just play golf but you're good friends now what have you learned from from Jordan about it, life well I think the thing is with me and him you know we just we just love just being normal and just yeah you know just yeah. like like one of the boys yeah. You know, and we're not trying to do too much. He's not trying to do too much. You know, he's just a, a guy just like everybody else. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, he's one of the greatest athletes that ever ever walked. You know, right. has ever made. But, right. you know, from uh, just a day-to-day, -day, he's just one of the fellas. One of the guys, man, just hang out, play some cards. You know, let's play some golf, talk a little trash, and that's it. But you know what? I, I, I have to admit, uh, I saw a new, I guess, light. And MJ and yourself. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. I was with you guys at the uh, Ryder Cup in Whistling Straits. Oh yeah. So it, yeah, it, I, yeah, was, I was right. I was in the I was, there. Sitting, I was, was sitting you, beside him. You right? was the one that's cropped right. out of his photo that I saw on his IG. Hand and storm, all that. That's but right. that's I, right. I was I was really intrigued how much of a fan you guys were of the USA team of the every individual player on the on the team and and like. I, how often do you watch golf at home? How often are you intrigued by the – Every weekend. Every weekend. <laughs> every weekend I'm turning it on, just trying to figure out what's happening. You know, it's just it's, – it's, it's a great game. And like I said, once you dive into it, you know, I tell a lot of my boys it's the same thing. You know, look, don't judge it by, you know, the history of it and, yeah. and how it is, how it's been for black folks in this game. Try, go out and try to try play it. the game. Go do it. Right. Play with a bunch of guys, your, that your handicap, your level – and you're going to have a ball. Because you can you're always gonna... bet. Like, there's always, there's always money online. You can shoot 115. I can't play with no money online. Yeah. I, let me tell you, I was at a golf course, and I saw these guys, these hackers, shooting 115, 120. They each put $10,000 is the most exhilarating piece of golf I've ever seen. You should have broadcast it. Us three should have been there commentating. Bro, I, like, I, I, think, I, think, I think they shot 120, 125, but it was, it was intense. That's too much. That's <laughs> yeah. too much. Yeah. Now, D, look, you talk about being out with the boys, yeah. you know, you, locker rooms. Yeah. You a tough dude. Yeah. But now you a girl dad. Ooh. But now you a girl dad. How, oh. do, how does that work, right? You know, wow. you, you used to knocking the heads off people, yeah. and now yeah. you a girl dad. How's, how's that been? She off me right <laughs> up. Right up. That tough guy stuff <laughs> out the it's window, gone. man. Hey. She, she is running my life. I love it. It's like she's 19 months, man, and she is 
the queen of the house. <laughs> it don't matter what. I try yeah. to play tough. You're right. No, you can't have it. Let her just get one little tear. You're one right, little right, little right. Duck. She's <laughs> kind of like, oh, oh, what, what? No, no, give it to her. Give it to her. Hey, but you will get tough yeah. when she start dating. Yeah, oh, he going oh, to get tough. He's going to get tough. I really am trying <laughs> to, like, I, I, I try to figure out how, as a dad, yeah, yeah. am I going to really handle all of that? <laughs> Or I really don't know what I'm gonna right, do right. when it comes to no, like, yo, who's this? Who you dating? Hilarious. What's his name? What's his address? What's, what's, what's his mama, daddy, them names? Right. That's exactly. what I need to know. Like, I'm trying. Like, 19, I might just have to, my wife have to handle that. Is has the tenderness like transferred into the golf though? Like, are you swinging less hard? Or is it is it less stressful now? Like, um. Absolutely, you gotta not. put it. <laughs> Absolutely not. It, 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 I'm swinging harder probably than I've ever swung. <laughs> All right, because I want to play and be right. good so right. bad. And that's the problem with golf is that you the harder you try, the worse you get. Probably that's right. it. So you, you got to figure out a way you to reverse gain that. control. Absolutely. And this is some, this is some stuff Will would say. You got to gain control by giving up control. Absolutely. That's that's, that, that's, that's, that's why I hate this damn that's game. Will, that's Will's yeah. wisdom. Okay, but hold on. Before we, look, we always talk on this show, Will, about how great golf is, right? Now, D Free, I need to understand. What sucks about this game for you? Well, it's, it's I'm not trying to tell fun. you, it ain't always fun. And Slow I'm trying plays to tell you, trash. The, pro the problem right. is, like I said, when you when you the ball is not moving, and you can't hit the ball where you want to hit it, and you saying, okay, I'm gonna aim left, and it goes right, and you aim right, and it goes left, yeah, the and then you try harder, boxing. and you get worse, and you don't try, and then you make it, it drives you absolutely <laughs> out of your mind as an athlete. Competitor, it just it does, but that's what keeps bringing me. Yeah, back. I think we do the game a disservice too by not like saying how bad it sucks sometimes. You get me behind some slow play guys, yeah. do the grow twenty three. Watch what happens. They might drone your ass off the course. <laughs> <We did> drone <laughs> pick you up. So, All right, see you, sir. What, what's the what's the most that you have played in a group at Grove twenty three? Uh, like like people in at the least group? Yeah, people at least group. at least eight for sure. So you have eight. Sims. Eight, eight, we have eight sims, no problem. Yeah. No, no problem. No, without even blinking. and you still and you're still getting through 18 holes in USGA. 18, we get 18. Four, four hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, 100. percent That's crazy. 100. Okay. No problem. See the problem though when you play like that because everybody got their own music. Oh. Everybody got their own whiz yes. pack. Yes, sir. And that bothers me because then somebody wants to play some reggae tone. Oh yeah. You got Big Sean over here. You got Jay Z over here. Oh yeah. But that also leads me to my next question. We call it rap foursome right here beyond the fairway. You'll probably only get this question with Will and myself. Matter of okay. fact, you will only get this question. Okay. You're going to go play golf with four rappers. You're playing a five ball. You can do that where you play. So you're playing a five ball, four rappers, dead or alive. They can play golf, not play golf. Dwight Freeney, I want to know who you pulling up to the course with. Nah, it's Jay-Z, mm. Biggie. Mm. All right, so I'm going to name them three that's right. Three. That's three right there. Off top. All right, so let me see. Somebody current right now that I think that I would prefer to see on the golf course, Snoop. Snoop. Mm. Snoop. You know, Snoop's a chill. You know, he's high as hell. He, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. you got to have Snoop. Snoop's going to calm me down. Yeah, he, you gotta yeah. Have he'll that, calm me you down. You got to have that friend, though. <laughs> we all got that friend that, 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 that don't see it most of the right. day. Yeah, they, so I said Snoop. And then, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go probably. He's going to rap six him because he plays it. I'm going to go I'm gonna go with Diddy. Diddy is not even a golfer, but Diddy I, Diddy going to hype me up. Like, I, I had a good shot. Yeah, like Diddy going to. Take that, take that. Take that. Take that. Take that, take that out the hole. But well, what's going to happen, though? What's, what's going to He going he gonna, he gonna, he gonna to hype you up for hitting a good shot. He's going to charge you for it. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> He's taking half your shot. He's going to be my team. Oh, man. Well, we appreciate you coming in here, going beyond the fairway right here. NBC Sports Golf Channel with Will Lowry and myself, man. Best of luck this week here. And, uh. It's okay to bust some people's ass, though. Oh, like, yeah. like no, you know what I'm saying? Have no fun. Problem. Enjoy the Ain't scenery. No it's Tahoe. Right. But, I'm going to you know, enjoy it. Did you bet yourself? Did you put some cheese on your sip? Nah, a little chain? Nah, you don't do all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to make sure I can hit the ball in a fairway. <laughs> right. And then after that, come holler at me on Saturday. We'll see what right. it is. Speaking <laughs> of hollering at you, tell the people how to get a hold of you if they want to see what's going on in, in your world. Yeah, man. At Dwight Freeney, you know, Instagram, whatever. You know, we out there. We out here in this golf course. This beautiful, beautiful place in Tahoe. This little piece of heaven, man. Come follow, follow me. You'll see me. I'll put a story up here soon. Love My it. man, all the way Connecticut. Yeah, all the way, all the way Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond the Fairway is presented by Genesis Motor America and the first ever GV70. Dynamic design and exhilarating performance make the game your own. And I, I've done that this week, Will. I, have, I feel like I have owned the game, but we're going to talk about me. We're talking about Dwight Freeney. I do want to say... I'd never met Dwight Freeney before we met. We did the pod. I'm just going to be honest with you. Like, we we literally rolled up on him like, yo, what's up? Gave him a golf lesson. I, I put I put the, the quad unit right in front of him. I was like, yo, hit some balls. I'm going to take some pictures, send it to my homies at Foresight Sports. Uh, plug. 
And um, he did it. He, he capitulated. And then he pulled up on us, man, and sat down with us, and we he, had a good conversation. He, he, did, he did what? He capitulated. Yeah, he, he agreed and uh, did whatever we asked him. I, I mean, I know what it means. I just, I, so I, I've been around did Mark. You, did you I've read the dictionary a, last night no, or something? Because I never you heard you use that word in my I, life. I was drinking with Mark Immelman yesterday. That's the that. problem. That'll do it. Let me tell you something. You drink okay. with Mark Immelman and your vocabulary <laughs> just goes. That's a, that's the way it is. That's the way it is with uh with uh Gary Williams, the great uh morning drive host. I, he, I love that you don't put no L's in his last name. It's we Williams. Like <laughs> it's not Williams, it's Williams. No, I get it. I, it sounded right to me. I'm just gonna have to call it, you it, out. It, it, all right, all right, Mr. Capitulated. All right. So uh but yeah, it was it was great to uh, you know, chop it up with Dwight because you know it was it was it was good to see the the guy that who experienced Tahoe for the first time. Like you get to see that guy, you know. And when you think about you know somebody who coming from all the great places that he played, you know, yeah. he, he obviously over at the Grove, he played with Frenchman Creek down there in in, um, yeah. in West Palm as well. So he he's seen a lot of great courses. Yeah. But the fact that you can bring him to Tahoe and bring him in that environment, he was still like, wow. Yeah. That that right there is pretty dope, you know. And, and Tahoe's so much more. I think we always talk about the celebrities that, that come out there and play, blah, blah. but it's more than that. It's, it's how they interact with each other. It's how they interact with the fans. How they interact with the sponsors. You know, you need to be a joy to be around. You got to be a joy to be around. Because remember, we talked to Jr. and he ain't got a call back since. So, you know, yeah, I mean, you you do get xed out. Like, it, 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 I mean, you do shoot, get X'd out. I mean, I've been begging to play for the past twelve years. You know, well, you so, gonna have to do something to help elevate your celebrity <laughs> yeah, status. I'm not gonna try to check you. I'm not right. checking you. I said we need to do something to elevate <laughs> your celebrity status so that the dream can be an actual reality. Come on, John Miller, man. Let me get in there, man. One one time. One. I promise I won't win on purpose. I promise. All right, time now for make the game your own. Presented by Genesis and Will. You know. This season, well, before I say that, we're coming off of talking to Dwight Freeney. And this year, um, there's been so much involvement in the game of golf to grow the game of golf amongst everybody. Diverse populations, black, brown people, white people, everybody trying to grow the game. Now, I come across Vibes Golf, thanks to our wonderful production team here at NBC. And two NFL running backs coming together to create Vibes. Man, you know... Doug, we are vibe. Like we are vibe. vibe. Every time we go on the course, we we feel like we hold vibe. But we never had a thought of putting it into an actual company. So these two brothers, man, who are both running backs in the NFL, Dare Ongubawe for Houston, Texas, as well as Melvin Gordon the third for Denver Broncos, who I'm mean, I'm so sad that he left uh LA Chargers. Yeah, I'm right. So sad. I'm still sad about that. Tough. How however what these guys are doing for the game of golf, man, I, I'm I'm a big I'm a huge fan of. These guys are building the bridge and making sure that whoever gets in the game, they still tra- they still stay authentic and true to themselves, which is which is so important. Yeah. That's all we ask for when it comes to the game. You know, come in your true authenticity so people can watch you and then maybe grow and learn from that. Yeah, what I found interesting, Will, is the final line of their mission statement says basically the, the whole mission of our podcast. We want to build the bridge that allows someone that looks like us, which is me and you, looks like us to just as easily pick up a golf club as they do a basketball or football. And that's literally the whole point of this podcast. So, uh, Dare, Melvin, brothers man we appreciate y'all how can we help how can we how can you help us matter of fact you ain't asked that question i'm gonna tell you how you can help us you can come on beyond the fairway and we can talk about vibes golf because i got a friend that's a vibeologist so we can you know get these levels right with this whole vibe situation but um that's how they make the game their own and we're so grateful for genesis that allows us to give us this platform to highlight people that are growing the game in diverse platforms there was 125 it went to 70 and now it's 30. All right, Will, 30 guys in Atlanta this week going to the A-Town. And before I even say this, Will, i got, I got to see your face because we did an on-camera hit, you know, when we come on the air today. And I'm very proud of this because um, I doubt it's ever been done. I said, who's going to make – I did my whole hit, blah, 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 greens at <clears throat> Wilmington Country Club. I said, who's going to make it to Atlanta? Okay, the piece up, A-Town down. Mm. Hasn't probably been done. I'm just gonna be honest. Um, no, no. In, in in golf history. So now we're talking about the ATL. Everybody from Jermaine Dupree to 112, but Scotty Scheffler's leading the way. Z- Can't lay back. 
Zalatoris back. With the staggered system, well, Scheffler's going to start at 10 under par. He's going to have a massive lead, but he's got a lot of guys chasing. Now, who? This is a CT Pan moment, Will. We yeah, know what you did yeah. during the Olympics. Yeah. This is your CT Pan moment. Who are you calling to win the FedEx Cup and the Tiffany Trophy? I think I think he's going to be, I guess, my dark horse. Nobody's really is expecting him to win this uh, this week, this whole FedEx Cup. He now, in regards to the standards that he had previously set for himself, mm. he's the victim of his own standards. He had a by his standard, he had a mediocre year. This buildup has got me excited. He had a mediocre year, you know. Uh, his last tournament at the FedEx Cup, he finished. Excuse me, at the FedEx St. Jude, he finished top five, but he had previous two missed cuts. In his two previous tournaments uh, before the FedEx FedEx St. Jude, and I'm going with drum roll, please. Go. In his mediocre year. Okay. Had a couple top fives. Had a <laughs> had a tie for uh, had a T2 at Genesis Invitational. We all about to slap you for this. Kyle Morikawa. <laughs> okay. I like it. I like the pick. I'm I'm not laughing at your pick. I'm laughing at everything you did before you said your pick. So, Colin, I'm not laughing at you. I'm he laughing. He laughing at you, Colin. <laughs> he don't think you can do it. He just I, don't did, think, I, I, I know when I but, know his laugh, Colin. He don't think you can do it. No. I know when he's like laughing at and he's trying to belittle somebody. You know what? He's trying to belittle you, bro. Okay. That's that. That's enough of that, Will. God, dog it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, you know, there's bandwagons and then there's bandwagons. Patrick, I'm a, I'm a, how, no, I, how, I, I'm, I was building up mine. How you? This is how. Are you that insecure? Where I said bandwagon for my pick, and you thought I was talking about you? Come on, Will. Oh, I ain't know. There's something about you. All right, there was a right there. I'm going, oh, there's two now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I man, this is look. Who do I want to win? I want Sahith the Gala to win. Is it possible? Absolutely not, in my opinion. But it is a feat for him to get there. Do I want Tony Finau to win? Absolutely. But he's going to start a few shots out of the lead. So what I'm looking for is probably one of the top four guys to eight guys are going to start under par. Who do I think can make the biggest move in that top eight? And you know what? I'm going to be super cliche. He won the very first time he showed up. Patrick Cantlay was paired with him today and got his ass. And they homies, they even vacation together. You already know who I'm talking about. I'm calling Xander Shoffley to repeat and this time actually win the FedEx Cup trophy. I'm going Xander Shoffley. I, mean, I think that's a bandwagon in a way, but okay. I told you it was a bandwagon fan. I tried to build it up. I know. I just, I'm just saying it. I'm just saying. He didn't play bad this week. He's had three wins, okay? It's not a bad pick. I don't have to justify it. If I said Patrick Cantlay, that's a bandwagon pick. It's, that is a bandwagon pick. What do you think Scott Stallings is going to do? Because I'm really proud of him right now. I'm proud as well, but I think he needs to be more excited that he's there and the things that come with winning the championship. They're in three majors. They're going to get 500 k automatic in donation to their uh, family's fund or their bank account. Uh, they're already into the players because they, they're top 30. And... Graham Dillette said something interesting on the broadcast a couple weeks ago. This is the all-star game of golf. And I like that concept. So, he should be happy he's got there. Can he win? It's possible. I don't know. But, we'll have to wait and see. ATL's coming up. They're playing East Lake, East Side Golf, East Lake. They're playing East Side Atlanta. Where's Elijah one? I don't know. Where's Earl? I don't know. But they're going to bring their ass in here. But stay tuned for all of that, man. So much more coming up. And, matter of fact, we're, we're winding the season down. Well, we've got couple more episodes and then yeah. we up out of here as well. I can't wait for the tour championship, bro. You know, we got uh hope two chains make an appearance. That how dope would that be? We saw Big Boy a couple years ago. Big Rick Ross was there, I think. Rick Ross oh. was there last year. Oh. Oh. Dude, I saw PJ Tour doing some stuff with or was it USGA? PJ Tour or USGA? PJ Tour doing stuff with Rick Ross. No, I'm talking about DJ Khaled on some rules stuff. It was the most Ooh. interesting thing I've seen. They can get him to, to do rules videos, but we can't get him on the podcast. Okay. Don't ask no questions. I'm not gonna ask I, any questions. I, I either way, either, he's been, either way he he's been in every rap foursome, just about. Pretty much, I think uh, we gonna reach out to the Rick Ross camp, man. I, as much money as I spent seeing Rick Ross and drinking back in college to try well, to let me, party let me, with him. <laughs> well, let, well, let's let's get out of here before your internet freezes even more. 
Uh, we appreciate everybody listening to Beyond Affair. We presented by Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait to see you next week. Uh, as we may have Tim, we're going to have Tim Brown on the episode. Anyway, I got the dog back with me. Dog Pound Gangsters, we out here. Uh, follow, listen, subscribe. Go ahead, double tap go. everything. Tell somebody that you know about what we're doing over here. Golf Channel NBC, we'll holler at y'all.